Hello everyone and welcome back to Laidback Gaming. Today we are playing the Jackbox Party Pack over on Twitch.tv. Hanging out, we are going to take a look and Vivage, Drawful, Wordspud, and Lyswatter. All games part of the Jackbox Party Pack. Uh, we're going to start off with Lyswatter. So let's get that party code up here guys. Hello to you, and welcome to Lie Swatter, the massive true or false trivia game. We can accommodate a huge number of players in a game. The number logo only goes to 99, but if you can somehow get more than that, it'll still work. Alright guys, for those of you who want to join in, jackbox.tv on your phone, your tablet, or your browser. Room code is CHYR. Alright then, before we get started, don't forget, new players can go to this website and enter this room code to join the game at any time. Let's play! You're going to see seven crazy facts pulled from the following fact categories. Bill Murray broke Robert De Niro's nose. Use your device to pick whether you think the fact is true or a lie. Bed bug bites cause nightmares. Gargoyleism is a disease that hardens the skin and elongates shoulder blades. Richard Nixon used poker winnings to fund his first campaign for Congress. <laughs> Hemingway was arrested in Paris for painting a landscape while nude. Toronto only allows 3,000 kids per year to be named Kevin. Bacon is a Vietnamese curse word meaning your fat mother. And here's your score at the end of round one. Here are your new fact categories. Believe it or not, John Wayne was a vegetarian. Candyland was created by a dentist. The word gargoyle comes from the Latin and Greek words for it to gargle. Okay. 
Mississippi does not touch the Mississippi River. House at Boo Corner was the first book to be translated into Braille. A man was bludgeoned to death with a Nobel Peace Prize in 1987. A U.S. citizen can be fined $5,000 for touching a penguin in the Antarctic. Here are your scores. For the final round, all the facts will be about one category. That category is April Fool's Jokes. Some of these April Fool's pranks really happened, and some of them we just made up. Bed Bath & Beyond claimed it would just start selling Beyond items. Burger King claimed it was selling a left-handed Whopper. Google claimed it had been bought by Ask Jeeves. Pringles claimed to open an addiction center for people who couldn't stop popping. NPR claimed Richard Nixon was running for president in 1992. <laughs> Marvel Comics announced that Captain America was getting a sex change. <laughs> Starbucks claimed it was selling a 128 fluid ounce drink. Let's see the final scores. It's time for another game of Lie Swatter. You're going to see seven crazy facts pulled from the following fact categories.
This is Drawful. Only four players. No problem. You'll each get to draw twice. All right, enough jibber-jabber. Let's play. Okay, I'm sending a title to each of your devices. Something kind of strange, like Mohawk or Quilting Bee. Draw a picture on your device that would have that title, and when you're done, hit Send, and you'll get points for each player that can correctly guess your title. So, don't mess this up. All your pictures are in. Let's take a look. Um. Now, use your device to type in what you think the title for this picture could have been. Or better yet, something you think could trick the other players into thinking it's the title. You'll get points for every player that picks your answer. think really inspired this drawing. Hey! Ah! <laughs> and here are your picks. <laughs> Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Oh. Now let's take a look at this one. Type in a convincing title now. Five. 
And here are your choices. What did everybody pick? <laughs> Boom! Everybody got it right! <laughs> um. Type in your titles now! Are your choices. Pick something. <laughs> All right, who picked what? <laughs> I'm learning so much about your weird, weird minds. Um. Enter anything that could almost make sense now. Okay, here are your choices. Hey! Here's everybody's picks. Hey! I like this group of players. I don't know why. I just do. Okay, I'm sending out another round of titles for everybody to draw.
All right, all your pictures are in. Oh man, I can't wait for you to see them. Um. Put in your titles now. gibberish if you have to. <laughs> Here are your choices. Hey! <laughs> what did everybody pick? <laughs> All right. Well, we're done with that now. Um. Enter your titles now. Anything you can think of. <laughs> and here are your choices. sure how to feel about all of you. Um. Type in a convincing title now. Are your choices. Hey! And here are your picks. <laughs> Well, let's not waste any more time on this one. 
Um. Type in your titles now. choices. What did everybody pick? <laughs> sure, beefs with an S. That kind of makes sense, right? Hi, I'm Cookie, and I sincerely want to get this insincerity ah, started. I've had my mic muted the whole time. Three guys. players, it's anybody's game. <laughs> Let's do this. Sorry about that. That's unfortunate. That's this unfortunate. is unfortunate. I and just that noticed I accidentally hit the button. Points for everyone you fool with your made-up answer, and you'll get a thousand for finding the truth. All right, pick a category. Rex, pick a category here. Well, we ain't waiting forever. Beagle. Okay, here's your first question. Ruppy the Beagle, who is being studied in South Korea, is a very unusual dog because he can blank. Now, use your device to enter a bluff that you think will fool the other players into thinking it's true. If you can't think of anything in time, use the lie for me button for half the points. Do it now! Mm. Mm. 
you utilizing, guys? Hurry! Hit the live for me button if you can't think of something! Okay, there are your choices. The dark. Find the truth and Swim enter your underwater. device by touching the answer you want. Speak. Look at his asshole. Alright, who picked to watch? Ooh, so underwater do is like. I don't want to log out since we're underwater. Hello, oh, sir? Ooh, is it true? There we go. But still, his bark is worse than his bright. <laughs> and that means some of these didn't get picked. <laughs> Select a category. Uh, let's go with psychiatrists. Okay, here's the question. New Mexico State Senator Duncan Scott successfully got a bill passed in the New Mexico Senate requiring psychiatrists testifying in court to wear a blank. Type in your lies now. See what you guys have for answers for this one. This is get interesting. New Mexico or a psychiatrist. All right, where's the truth? Whether it's hat, clip on tie, a lab coat, or a gold chain. Let's see what everybody selected. Ooh, Rex is like, Howdy Cat Fishers. That's my lie. And it was also. That was also Terrence's lie. That was weird. Well, don't you feel foolish. Ooh, the bill did not sad. make it past the New Mexico House, Ooh, however. They declared that's an interesting that a courtroom one, guys. is no place that's for an interesting funny outfits one. unless you're the judge. And that means this lie didn't get picked. That's, that's an interesting one. Alright. Turn in the lead. And then me. Time to pick and the then category. Rex in third. Okay, Minnesota. Here's the question. A man in Proctor, Minnesota was arrested for driving a motorized blank while drunk. Enter your lies now. A man in Proctor, Minnesota was arrested for driving a motorized... <laughs> I can see some interesting answers for this one. Minnesota. Motorized okay, while drunk. Here you go. A motorized Find the truth. Up. A motorized Zamboni. Motorized lawnmower. A motorized lazy boy chair. Alright, let's see what everybody picks. <laughs> it's not too funny for a bathtub. Because we actually have bathtub races out in the water in the harbor. Alright, so. Boy chair. Here's the truth. And nobody fell for some of these ingenious lies. Now it's round two, where all point values are doubled. Let's do it. Select a category. Parking office memorial. It's not rags. hard. You know what? We'll just stick Me with this maybe? one. maybe. We got rags. Okay, here's the question. It's time for a road, road trip. Road trip. When in Laza, Spain, be sure to check out the annual festival where participants pelt each other with muddy rags full of blank. Ooh. Type in your lies now. This is an interesting one. 
not many things that would sound realistic in my opinion. Let's see what you guys trade for last year. Fire ants, <laughs> goat urine, horse dung, or feces. Ooh. This one. Okay, let's take a look. Well, you guys blew it. Fire ants. <laughs> Interesting. Or as Americans call it, Black Friday. <laughs> and nobody fell for this one. Got Black Friday jokes just in time. Because Black Friday is going to be in a couple days. Alright, pick a category. You're choosing the category. Let's go with 6,084. Okay, here's the question. UC Irvine brought 6,084 students together in 2012 to break the world record for largest blank ever. Enter your lies now. This could be... This could, this could get interesting for this one. Hurry! Hit the lie for me button if you can't think of something! Okay, which one's the truth? Sport dance, dodgeball game, sit in, or riot. Okay, what did everyone pick? We nice got it. truth finding, the everybody. Truth and nobody picked all the other lies up there. Sit in and a square dance. Good one. Sit in was mine. You put square dance. Ooh, square dance is one of theirs. Turn them, put one in. Select a category. Okay, here's the question. Moviegoers who use their cell phones at the Prince Charles Cinema in London are escorted out by people dressed as blank. Type in your lies now. Be Use a suggestion one. if you can't think of anything. Okay, here are your choices. <laughs> Dress as hot, hot dog, hobbits, ninjas, or the queen. Okay, let's take a look. Hot dog. Ooh, good lie, Rex. Good lie. Ninjas. The truth. And the rest of the board goes unselected. <laughs> Welcome to the final, final finish, finish, guys. Final and then we and will be moving on triple. to. It's anybody's game. You don't know Jack, maybe? Here's your final fibbage question. We'll take a look and see. teachers at Mounts Bay Academy in England were banned from using in 2014? Enter your lies now. Teachers at Mounts Bay Academy in England were banned from using in 2014. Hit the lie for me button if you can't think of something. Alright, where's the truth? Chalkboards, calculators, red pens, telescope. Alright, let's see what everybody picked. 
Yeah, checklist doesn't seem realistic, but good lie there, Rex. He cut somebody out on it. Red pens is the truth. Yeah. There was a sentence fragment in the memo, and there was nothing they could do about it. Calculators was a good answer, and we're too. Done. Teachers shouldn't have to use a calculator if they're teaching. And the winner is Rex. Good job, Rex. Alright, guys, we're gonna be switching over here. And uh, let's do some You Don't Know Jack now here. Switching on over, you don't know Jack. You don't know Jack 2015. We are ready for start of game. And we are going to multiplayer. Okay, we're set. Uh, yeah, yeah, Cookie, I took a poll in the office, and we all thought that gravity was worth seeing in the theater. Okay, agree to disagree. I thought it was way better on my iPod shuffle. Can someone please mop up that melted bronze? Always switching out the room code, guys. No matter what, we will always start a new lobby after every game. And then, yeah, basically first one in. Uh, gets in. Let's get all four of you guys in here. Let's throw off all sports. There's more than enough people in chat. Um... I'm also there streaming this in a couple other places other than Twitch. So uh, we should be able to get enough people in here. Uh, let's take a look here. who you are, you have dreams. What episode do we want to take a look at here? I want to be a doctor. Got San Francisco Otter Choir. Angie's ice cream. eye drops. Slightly usable. Let's just go in order, guys. And you'll get a dreamsicle absolutely free. Let's go in order here. Here's a free dreamsicle. I want to be a surfer. Uh, one more. Can we get one Here's more? Here's a free in? dreamsicle. Real quick. I want to be best. S B R Q. Zoom code. Jabbox TV. Dreamsicle. Is this where we tell the dreams? It sure is. I'm standing naked, looking into a mirror. My Bit face is not gonna my get in, own. Uh, the small fire burns besides me, and I face it. A, a lot of people in here, guys. Just relax. Planes. It looks at me and speaks. This is what remembering does. It says, and then I'm in a field not of sure. dreams. And I cannot but, uh, move my legs, but steadily. Everybody in. Let's do this. You don't know Jack. This is You Don't Know Jack 2015. I'm your host, Cookie Masterson. Cookie Masterson. Hey, wipe that smile uh. off your face. This is serious. <laughs> okay, just kidding. There will be parts and stuff. So, which one of you couldn't get a date? There's your hardware. <laughs> you can force another player to answer immediately by hitting your screw button. If they miss it, you win extra bonus dollars. <laughs> and our wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... The San Francisco Otter Choir. San Francisco Otter Choir. every Wednesday, except for mating season. Try to choose the wrong answer brought to you by our sponsor to get prizes and cash. Wrong answer. Bye. <laughs> The sponsor. Okay, let's Something begin. Something related, usually. Uh, we'll get you bonus. You don't know how to play Don't Know Jack. XYBA. Right it's basically just bat. trivia. Bootyful. Bootyful. Let's analyze one of Kim Kardashian's body parts. About what percentage of Kim Kardashian's brain is just made up of water? 10%, 40%, 80%, or 100%? <laughs> Ooh, I think I got that wrong. Yeah, I definitely got that wrong. I know Time's this. I'm up. a medical student. I'm so bad at trivia. And it's just like, ah, I got to one and three. Kim Kardashian's brain, and everybody else's brain for that matter, is made up of about 80% water. Ooh, I did get it right. But that other 20% is just so round Damn. and firm, I can't stop thinking about it. For a minute there, I thought it might have been 40. I call this one, his acting is all right, all right, all right. So, you know how they called Matthew McConaughey's resurgence as an actor his McConaissance? Well, 
If Matthew McConaughey is currently experiencing a McConaissance, then what period of his life just ended? The McConna Dark Ages, the McConna Industrial Age, the McConna Middle Ages, or the McConna Enlightenment Age? Player one, who's gonna get it? Uh, I'm gonna get it. Sorry, you've been buddy. screwed. You got five seconds. See if you can get it. The Renaissance first occurred in Italy in the late 14th century, immediately following the Middle Ages. So the Meconaissance would follow the Meconna Middle Ages. You got it. Funny because most Renaissance you got it. also need to put on a damn oh, shirt. Oh, Play on, down. you are now the screwee. My money, I didn't think you'd know that. Dance with me, Disco 3. Good job. Listen 3. Next. Brought to you by the letter U Nebrow. It's the put the choices into order, then buzz in and see if you are right. <laughs> and if you get this one right, I'll rustle up some extra moolah for you. So we gotta put Arrange them in order, the you guys. Sesame Street characters in order of fewest to most eyebrows. Ooh, crap. Bert, Ernie the Count. Ernie Bert the Count. Bert Ernie the Count. The Count Bert Ernie or Ernie the Count Bert. <laughs> How much time left? Uh, I think it's this one. Player one. I thought they all had two, but... <laughs> Here's what you meant to pick. Ernie has no eyebrows at all, Bert has one long single eyebrow, and the Count has two! Two eyebrows! I shouldn't have guessed that. <laughs> I shouldn't have just not guessed. And yet, none of them have ever blinked. <laughs> This one's called Duck Duck Swan. <laughs> duck Duck Swan. See the cast of Duck Dynasty attends a performance of Swan Lake and thinks there are real waterfowl on stage. In their confusion, which character would they most likely shoot? Siegfried, Benno, Von Rothbart, or Odette? <laughs> Watch your time! <laughs> I don't think it's anybody knows this one. Each of you forgot how to buzz in at exactly the same time. Okay, don't be afraid. If the stream is behind right uh, Terran, uh, try Odette refreshing. Odette is a princess who has been turned into a swan. So the, the Duck Dynasty and, uh, crew would probably fill her full of that lead. That might help. Especially if they find out she once fooled around with a lady swan try in college. Try refreshing the stream. Next up, the man in the backwards yellow hat. And it's a dis or dat. Play dis one. Or dat. You seem to be behind a bit. This dis or dat is all yours. I'm going to read off seven things, and for each one, you tell me if it's an alleged antic by pop star Justin Bieber, or by Justin Bieber. an antic by the classic children's book character or Curious, Curious George. George. Okay. If Justin it's Bieber. Justin Bieber. Press the X button. If it's Curious George, press the B button. The rest of you should still keep your eyes open. Try to pick an answer before player one. If player one gets it wrong, I'll split that cash among everyone else who got it right. Okay, we're off. Peed in a mop bucket. Justin Bieber. Broke his leg falling from a fire escape. Arrested for falsely reporting a fire. At the house. Got high on ether. Fed a bugle to an ostrich. Beaver. Went to a Brazilian brothel. Beaver. You were a couple of bananas short Four of a seven. Punch. Not too bad. I think we can all agree that it's time for that little bastard to get deported. And then it's your turn, Beaver. <laughs> Round one is in the books, and player one is ahead, but there's more trivia to come. Remember, I'm doubling the value of each question in round two. And remember, big cash prizes can be yours if you find the wrong answer to the game. All right, you ready? Too bad. What? Six? This
This one's known as Dumber and Dumberer 2. So there's Dumb and Dumber, and then there was Dumb and Dumberer, and then Dumb and Dumber 2. Makes perfect sense. Now, going back a few decades, there was The Odd Couple and The Odd Couple 2. So, if another remake of The Odd Couple used the superlative adjective, it would be called The Blank Couple. Odd, Otter, Oddest, or Otterist. <laughs> Watch your clock! Players one and three? Whoa! Oh, that was nice. <laughs> Why didn't you pick this? Odd is the adjective, otter is the comparative adjective, and oddest is the superlative adjective. But of course, everyone who made the original Odd Couple movies is dead, which means it's the perfect time for Rob Schneider to swoop in and revitalize the franchise. Question seven. May I introduce? Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. At which temperature would Olaf from the movie Frozen melt and die? 30 degrees Kelvin, 30 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 degrees Celsius, or 30 degrees Rankin? He's a snowman. Oh God. It's not. 30 Celsius. We just Hello! Celsius. Layer 1. 30 degrees is below freezing in Fahrenheit and insanely below freezing in Kelvin and Rankin. But it's pretty balmy in Celsius, about the equivalent of 86 degrees Fahrenheit. So. And I know, blah, 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 he can magically be saved, but I'm talking about what would happen in the real world to a talking snowman. Follow me down to the sea. Oh, Coming up next, Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, Yo. or Uranus? First spotted in 1879, Kangaroo, Peanuts, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? <sighs> spotted in 1879? Ooh. Uh, kangaroo. Time is short. Player one. That's wrong. Well, honestly, Albert Einstein was first spotted in 1879, the year he was born. Probably by a midwife or something, over a century after Uranus was discovered, and even longer after kangaroos and peanuts. I've heard baby Einstein cried a lot because he left behind some important equations on the uterine wall. <laughs> It's time for Wine or Lose. If the Washington Redskins rebranded themselves with a non-offensive Redskins mascot, what could they be called? The Washington Chardonnays, the Washington Malbecs, the Washington Pinot Blancs, or the Washington Rieslings? <laughs> Watch the clock! Amazing, we got a room full of spineless wimps. Watch yeah, closely. I'm not sure on that one. Chardonnays, Pinot Blancs, and Rieslings are all white-skinned grapes, but the Malbec grape is red. Although to a connoisseur like myself, Malbec is very offensive. <laughs> oh yes, I do say that was quite a burn. Fuck her up for I want to lick and roll all night. If Kiss singer Gene Simmons' tongue grew to the average length of an adult giraffe's, how deep into a woman's mouth could he stick it when he kissed her? About 5 inches deep, about 10 inches deep, about 20 inches deep, or about 30 how inches long? deep? Adult oh, giraffe's tongue? Giraffe's mm. not that long. 
Time's a wasting. Oh, let's try this. Player one. I don't think that's even as long as the tongue he already has. <laughs> Correct answer, show yourself. An adult giraffe's tongue is on average about 18 to 20 inches long. All right, guys, long. it looks like we're having about a little deep into a bit of airs here. Um, let's uh, cancel this out, and we'll switch right now. Because that one does rely on timing, and the twitch delay is not the best on, uh, you don't know Jack. So let's go back to word spud here. Let's say some more word spud. Room code. EDFM. Bud. Yeah, Rex back in. Let's start the game right off the bat here, guys. Join in at any time. Drybox.tv, ADFM. Come on, Rex. Let's get a word in here. Ooh, thin pretzel. I'll give you that. I'll give you that one. Ooh, yeah. It's not taking the one word. Alright, have it. Quirky pine. I'll give you that. I was, I was thinking porky pig, so I'll give you that. Pine. Oh, uh, no point for that. Alright. Heads, yes. Head. <laughs> That's right, you're giving me head strong. Strong. Ooh, I just got you stuck with a hard one. Ooh, strong. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to give, give you a nail, but uh, soap. It's all about the creativity and I'm trying to make even a sentence or something out of the word suds and buttons. Alright. I'll give you it. Face. You can put anything, anything with a winky face, I will give you. Any word, bud. Any word. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Pillsbury Doughboy, I'll give it to you. That's a hard one. Can't really start with a winky face. Should be using winky faces, but... <laughs> Usually it doesn't give you the winky face. Boy! Story 3 is Toy Story! Ooh. Um, time. Time warp. Warp. Yeah, sure. Do that. Mouse. Put a uh, house rules. That's what I was gonna put. Cornerstone. Six wins for round one. Let's do the next round. Yeah. Wave. Rider? You betcha. Um, Rider. Digest. Nice one. Digest. Your food. Food. Come <laughs> Yes.
Yeah, I can think of a good one there. Money. Yes, money talks is exactly what I was thinking of. Show me the money. <laughs> yes, I'll give you that. Money. Anything, buddy. Invisible. All right, guys. A couple more here, and then we're going to call it a night. We're no longer in the same room? Alright. Let's uh, fix this out here. Actually, uh, that's where we're going to end it here tonight, guys. I was going to go for another 10 minutes, but that ends our community game night. Um, be sure to follow me on Twitter to find out about the next community game night. At FNC Will, or at Laidback underscore, or Laid underscore <laughs> Back Gaming. Uh -huh. We are also. We're also gonna post a community night on our YouTube, youtubecom slash We Are Laidback Gaming. Salutation. Um, where our Never Alone stream will also be going up. So definitely, definitely, definitely check it out. And until next time, peace out, everyone. <laughs>